Hello again everybody, I do a quick one on Rexar's automated shipyards here. This is a new one on the workshop at the moment. It consists of these three different blocks here. We've got the corner blocks, the conveyor blocks and the other conveyor blocks. These ones you're able to attach blocks onto the side of. So in order to build this thing you need to get the corner blocks set in first and then connect all the sides up with these shipyard conveyor blocks here. Another thing you'll notice here is when you're connecting the corners on, sometimes they won't line up correctly. If you try to spin it around to one of the other corners, you'll notice the other corner connects a bit nicely. It's just one of the corners that seems to connect nicely. I don't think it matters which one is connected in the end, but uh, it just makes building it a little easier. Okay, so once you've got your square shape set up, I think you can make them into quite a long rectangle as well, bearing in mind the longer you make it, the more energy it's going to need. You're going to want to throw down an LCD and a button panel. And you're going to want to go to your LCD and rename it to Shipyard. Like so, and it will automatically set it up as a Shipyard LCD, so you don't need to do anything else. From here, you can see you've got your buttons, exit up, down, select, so exit up, down and select. So something to bear in mind with this mod though, is it requires a huge amount of power. This is quite a large box that I've built here, but it's needing 20 large reactors, uh, all filled with uranium, just to power this thing. And it's not even on its max settings, it's on quite low settings. Within the settings, if you go into your control panel, you can find the shipyard corners. I usually select them all as a group, rename them as a group, and here I've called it shipyard. If you go down settings, you've got all the normal uh, inventory, all the control panel settings here. But you do have some options here, guide boxes on or off, you can choose to have them on while you drive the ship into the area, it just shows if you've got the guide boxes on. You've also got the beam count, this is how many lasers will be fired out of each corner. Uh, Obviously if there's one or three, three will require a lot more energy than just one. Um, and you've got the speed at which you does it. The higher the speed is, or the higher the welding speed or the grind speed is, the more energy it will require. I found that the shipyard can build small and large ships. Both of them you don't need to build smaller or large blocks for it. The uh, It's all one block for small and large ships. Um, you can build them from the projector, so here I've set up a small projector connected to uh, a power source, put it inside of the shipyard area, and this will allow me to build. So if I go to the main menu, go down to weld and choose it, and it will start building it. So you can build ships through the projector this way. You'll see the different colours here, blue means it's welding currently, and purple means that it doesn't have the components needed to weld that part. It usually comes up on the screen here on what blocks are needed if you uh, they go missing components are missing display, metal grids and power cells. Just here it tells me so that means I need to go and add to the uh, storage compartment those parts for it to finish off the ship and it will keep updating and changing as you need different parts for it. So I found one of the issues with the mod at the moment is how much power it requires. I guess it's more for balanced, if you know if you're an service or survival, something like this would require a lot of power. Um, but I've found a little bit of a bug when uh, when you do run out of power on it, so when it selects all the parts. If you increase the speed, which is going to increase the power uptake, it will crash and it'll say no fuel on the station. Now, I found a few problems trying to get it started again. The best way I know of to uh, restart the system is to turn all of the blocks off for the shipyards, so all the corners off and then power down the station. If you power the station back up again, then everything will start to run as it should do. You'll see the ship works on. And this is the way you can get it working again, so you can drop the speed down, drop the welder speed down or whatever, so it's using less power. Turn the blocks back on, and then you're free to weld again. So yeah, I found that if you, uh, if you do run out of power and the thing stops working, then it will crash the system. There we go, it's going again now. So be aware that you might have to shut them down, turn all the power off, turn all the power back on again, and uh, you should be good to go again. One other quick thing just to mention is that when you are building from a projector block, you want to have the projector block separate from the main station that the actual shipyard's built on. Uh, I did try it earlier when it was connected to the shipyard and it did seem to crash and it didn't seem to want to build, whereas when I disconnected it and it was a separate block, separate um, station then it seemed to weld a lot easier and a lot better that way. 
So when you come in to deconstruct or construct your ships, you need to make sure that you're fully within the block area. You'll notice that uh, the block goes yellow when you're not fully in the area, and green when you're acceptable area, so it'll be able to deconstruct the ship when it's in a green area. So finally, a couple of last things to mention. Uh, if you do go into the laser area, they do hurt you, so don't stand inside the lasers if you can help it. Also, the thing has to be anchored to an asteroid, um, or a planet, I believe. Um, if it's out floating space on a ship, it doesn't seem to work at the moment. I'm not sure if this is something that uh, Rexel's going to address and try and get working in the future. It'd be great if he could. Uh, but at the moment, you know, just be aware, you have to anchor it to a, a fixed position or else it won't work. Hope you've enjoyed watching the mod review. Um, please give me a like and subscribe if you want to see any more. I'm going to be trying to do keeping up to date on all the new mods and things that are going to be coming out for Space Engineers. Thanks for watching guys, goodbye.